WordPress site. Um, so here we are on the plugin page. You can see up here we're on a WordPress website. So here are the plugins that I use. Um, and they're listed in, listed in alphabetical order. I have a, a Bitcoins payment for WooCommerce. This allows me to accept Bitcoins. It works really well. Um, and the next one, but it's secondary. You know, Bitcoin is, is one of those things that I added once everything was set up, of course. This is a pretty cool plugin. It's called ClickDesk Live Chat. Um, if you're home during the day, you can log in, and when people land on your website, they can chat with you. If you're not logged in to this, they can leave a message. And people more often use this than the Contact Us page. So it's a nice feature because it's pretty prominent down here in the right-hand corner. Code snippets I use because um, the product pages don't display everything that I need. Um, for example, we have a product page and then we have a tab underneath. I wanted to add a couple of tabs. So this is basically like a custom, a way to customize your functions PHP file. Again, this was secondary for me, but it uh, does add some, some nice um, features to the website. Custom favicon. The favicon is what you see right here, uh, or Google has. Oh, actually, all these bookmarks I have up here, this is the favicon, the little icon that displays. You know, if, if you're a visual, you're, if you're a visual person, you're able to see these things easier, and you can see. But I could actually probably delete this plugin because WordPress recently added that as um, part of their. You know, so it's not a custom. It doesn't have to be customized any longer. Here's HTML page sitemap. This helps with uh, creating a sitemap so Google and the search engines can easily display your information. Ninja Pop-Ups is a pretty cool plugin. I actually had to pay for this one. So when someone lands on alphadogfood.com for the first time, they, um, I hope this is recording the sound, uh, pop-up displays. And the way I have it set is it offers them a coupon to sign up for our list. But there's so many different things you can do with Ninja Pop-Ups that I even haven't even gotten around to doing them. I was thinking about using this to like for example when somebody lands on a product page I could pop up a testimonial about that product after about five to seven seconds so you could time that so that's a nice feature uh, regenerate thumbnails this I think helps when when pages load it allows pictures to load faster depending on the type of page and the size that you the size of the picture that you want to display you do some more research. There's a lot of information out about about the right regenerate thumbnails plugin. I'm not doing it justice how I'm describing it. User notes I've added, but I don't use them that much. But this is a somebody you know. If we take care of something administratively, we can make a note on their user page. User switching. This is probably one of the best plugins that I have. It allows me to, as an administrator, go from being the administrator. To switching to them so if somebody contacts me for an order I can switch to their account real fast and do it without having to you know log in and, and know their password I never even have to know their password this is a very helpful plugin WooCommerce this is basically the big one this is the big daddy right here this is my shopping cart and then a lot of the plugins underneath of here are extensions um, to WooCommerce. So there's WooCommerce ShipStation integration. This has been probably the most valuable plugin that I've added recently because what it does is it allows all of our orders to go to one place versus having to um, log into the FedEx website to print labels and log into the USPS website to print labels. Every order goes to the same spot and from there, from ShipStation, I can create labels for USPS and FedEx or US or UPS if I chose to or if I'm going to make the delivery myself I can just I can do it through there it's not quite as easy to do that particular thing that that's a, a function that I've requested from them and I think it'll eventually get enough votes because more people are asking for that but anyway ShipStation is great this is the plugin that allowed us to move our fulfillment over to St. John of God community services in Westville, New Jersey. So they do all of our fulfillment now, and I'm 
I was confident with that move because of this plugin. Great, great company. Uh, ShipStation is based out of Austin, Texas. Then there's WooCommerce accepted payment methods. This basically just displays which payment methods your business accepts on the uh, checkout page. And so this is a nice plugin because it allows people, to, you know, once they land there, they may not be familiar with your brand, but they're familiar with all these other brands Visa, MasterCard, American Express. And so there's a, a, some familiarity there. WooCommerce Ambassador Integration, another great plugin that's really allowed us to grow. It's a big part of our marketing. So our customers can refer other customers and everything's tracked through Ambassador. And this is where we pay commissions. And it's really great. Another awesome plugin. And and if you're gonna get if you're gonna go with Ambassador, talk to me first. We'll talk live about this. I want to give you a little tip on how to work with them. Um, WooCommerce Authorize.net CIM Gateway. This is another great plugin, and it's essential for us. So when a client of ours enters their credit card information, we don't store it. WordPress, AlphaDogFood.com does not store credit card information, but it's sent over to Authorize.net. They're the most trusted, largest credit card gateway in the world. They store the information. And so when someone sets up a subscription, for example, this plugin is what sends the uh, message over to authorize.net. So if, they're gonna, if they have a monthly shipment or delivery, it processes on, author, on alphadogfood.com, but the message is sent to authorize.net, and that's who bills the credit card and says, okay, it's good, the payment's good, and the messages are sent back and forth. Great plugin, works with, this is essential to work with WooCommerce, WooCommerce subscriptions, which I'll get to in a second. It's down here, uh, but I'm just going to go in order here. WooCommerce, Mailchimp, subscribe. I love Mailchimp. Um, it was free for the first two years we used it, but then we just got too many subscribers, so we had to start paying for it. I purchased like you know a quarter million emails for very little money. I think it was like 300 bucks. So that should last me for years and years. But anyway, this plugin allows your users to opt in through the checkout. So I have a little checkbox that's pre-checked. People can uncheck it if they don't want to subscribe. Otherwise, their information goes here. I also use this plugin with the pop-ups plugin. So this allows me to collect emails from the website in a few different ways. That's the WooCommerce MailChimp subscribe. My theme, the, here's the WooCommerce menu cart. The theme that I use that I purchased from Woo Themes doesn't have a menu cart up in the corner, which I think is important to any e-commerce website. So here's a simple plugin that displays a menu cart. So I use that. Um, depending on which theme you purchase from Woo Themes, if you go with them, most of them have a menu cart. Mine does not, so I use this plugin. WooCommerce Shop to Facebook. This is basically creates a button on your Facebook page that people can click brings them right to your website and they can shop. I think there's some more functions there but you have to pay for them and I really haven't taken the time to do that. Um, WooCommerce subscriptions. This is another big one here. This allows us to create variable subscriptions and basically allows us to sell subscriptions and and um, has been just so invaluable to our business. Pretty self-explanatory. WooCommerce subscriptions. WooCommerce Table Rate Shipping, another great plugin that probably was, out of all the plugins that I've set up, the most difficult because it's a table rate and you have to then do, you got to start doing some research on all the different zip codes around the country. But FedEx was very helpful in supplying us with all the zip codes and the rates. And so what we did is we plugged everything in and we set rates. And so when somebody from New Jersey orders a 20 pound bag of food, the cost of shipping is built in, so this plugin doesn't charge them anything for shipping. But if somebody from California orders a 20 pound bag of dog food, it recognizes their zip code and charges them the correct amount of shipping for the bag size and the distance that it's going to travel. Great plugin. Uh, Woo Dojo, I'm not even sure what this is. I guess a powerful collection of features to enhance your website. I might even use some of those, I'm not sure. It's been so long since I've set it up. WooThemes Helper is a, a nice because it's um, 
when you're updating your plugins, this allows you to just click an update button versus deactivating it, deleting it, uploading a new plugin. So this is basically an API that's created to do it through one click. WordPress HTTPS. This S stands for secure, basically, and it allows your pages to be secure and send the uh, secure sockets layer. That's what SSL is. So anytime you're taking information from a customer, you want the page to send encrypted data back and forth, and that's what this plugin allows you to do. And really, you can't set up your e-commerce without your pages being encrypted. It's pretty simple to, to do. It might sound complicated, but it's not. Uh, Cache plugin, this is one of the best out there. This basically allows your pages to load faster because it's saving the page. Um, here's our... So on, another thing about the theme that I use, it's an older theme, but I really like it because it's so simple and crisp, but it's not mobile friendly. But that's okay because these people at WP Touch, or I'm sorry, at Brave New Code, have created the WP Touch mobile plugin. This plugin turns your website. So if you ever go to alphadogfood.com on your phone or your iPad, you can see that it's mobile friendly. It's very different than what you see here on our on the desktop version. Another awesome plugin, just to finish up, is the Yoast SEO. I mean, these guys are like, you know, this is the best SEO plugin out there, and these dudes are on top of their game, and, and they have great information. So, I mean, I've gotten an education on SEO over the years, and these guys have been the most um, helpful with their with all the articles they have published online and this plugin. Um, and you see oh, most of the plugins over here, like there's their plugin where you would go in and, and set everything up. And when you get in there, you know, there's some, there's some uh, you're going to have some questions, but it's easy to Google, you know, Google your question and write the word Yoast in there. And the Yoast article is going to come up and explain pretty much uh, everything about that. All right, that was a longer video than I planned to make, but that's those are all my plugins. Let me know if you need any more information. I'd be happy to provide it.